Welcome, Flip Clock fans. Here we have a strange little bird in Flip Clock Fan Studios. It's a Linden Model 969 from the Linden Division of Cuckoo Clock Manufacturing Company, Incorporated, made in Japan. Many of the members of FlipClockFans.com wanted to know a bit more about how a flip clock came to be marketed by a cuckoo clock company. So here's a little history. Irving Schulman founded Cuckoo Clock Manufacturing Company sometime around 1947. The company imported clock faces and mechanisms from Germany and assembled them in their plant in New York City. Eventually, sometime around the late 1950s, the company started manufacturing mantle and other clocks under the Linden name. The numbers and types of clocks that bore the Linden name grew quickly. The Linden division of Cuckoo Clock Manufacturing Company either made or imported all kinds of clocks, with the Linden name becoming well known from the 1950s to the 1970s. In the 1980s, the company was bought and sold a few times and eventually was acquired by the Calibri Group in 1991. Up until the mid to late 1980s, linen clocks were made in New York City, but then operations moved to Rhode Island. Eventually, clocks were just imported from Germany, Taiwan, and Japan, and the brand name Linden used on them. What strikes me is that a few decades ago, most people would have recognized the name Linden as the famous American maker of clocks. These days, most people, even flip-clock fans, have no knowledge of the name Linden. How things change. Where did the name Linden come from? The company needed a brand name for their clocks that were not cuckoo clocks. Since cuckoo clocks were made primarily from the wood of the Linden tree, that became their model name. In Germany, the Linden tree has a long history in myth and lore and is symbolic to Germans of justice, peace, community, dance, and fertility with many songs and poems referencing the tree. In the early 1970s, the company marketed several different models of flip clocks, made in Japan and branded Linden. Just like this one right here in Flip Clock Fan Studios. So what I noticed right away was this a nice little package. I always like the little plain flip clocks with the alarm or no alarm. That's the silencer back there for the alarm. So we'll take, we're going to take it apart here and See what we got. At the end of the video, I'll let you hear the alarm. I've had a person ask me to do that with each clock that I look into. So there's just two screws in the back to take off here. Pretty simple. There's a couple tabs on the front. We just have to lift them off of that. Pull straight up. And as you can see, there's not a lot of extra room in the clock. So what do we got? Well, we've got a, a nicely built clock. And you see right away here, we've got a Toshiba VA82 motor. That's a self-enclosed motor. It has the ends sticking into a, a coil there to get that thing spinning. A lot of times those motors are a little noisy. And in this case, however, mine is silent. Now we do have a blackened bulb that indicates this clock was run. It was a well-used clock. And here is the front. What I like about this is it's got real glass. And it's easy to take that out. Here's the front piece here. It's painted plastic. It's actually well done. So it's pretty straightforward if you wanted to get this uh, light bulb assembly out of here. This neon glow bulb. This is a strange little situation because once I got into this, I looked at this and I thought, why in the world have they made it this long? And thankfully they used nuts here so I can just unscrew that because I'm going to replace that. But this turned out to be really strange. It's got the PVC protection there. And when I take this off, this is something I've never seen before because I can tell this was not ever messed with. So the manufacturer did this, but check that out. One of the leads is just wrapped around the other that's got the protective tubing. Well, there's no reason they couldn't do that. I mean, it's safe and everything, but I've just never seen anything, I've never seen anyone do anything like that before. So I'm definitely not going to do that myself. I just, it just seems unnecessary. So there's the resistor. Now I happen to have a vintage light bulb assembly from a clock, and I cannot remember which one it was. But you can see the bulb was not even used. I think, oh, I couldn't remember what it was from. But I think it had been disconnected and the person never really bothered with it. 
So here it is, I've got it in place, it fits fine, and it works great. We're just going to make sure that the clock's still working, make sure it flips over. And it does. So we'll check the alarm. Just kidding. Well, there it is, the Linden Model 969 from the Cuckoo Clock Manufacturing Company. A nice little clock. Kind of different, interesting. And now a part of the Flip Clock Fans Collection. Thanks for taking the time.